Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about what I do as a computer engineer. So, let's get started. So I've been receiving a lot of uh, questions and comments about like, are you working? And if you are, like what kind of work are you doing? What are you working on? Um, and where are you working? So what I do currently is, um, I can't really go into too much detail about it, but I do a lot of work in the Linux environment and I do a lot of bash scripting and I also do a lot of C programming. I do various uh, modifications to code to either make it better or, you know, to uh, make sure that it is running as it's supposed to. And that would involve uh, GitHub and Jenkins to like, you know, change those to make those changes and then to actually test the program to make sure that it is working in those different areas. So I do unit tests. Um, I also do things such as like make installs, make um, uninstalls, make checks on different areas of the program. And it's a very large program, so it has to be broken up into smaller pieces and uh, there's different ways that you can install it, different um, extensions that you can install with that program. So I do different kinds of installations, some with these extensions, some without, test these extensions, make sure they're working as they're supposed to. Um, and this, all this code is still um, is in development. There's constantly modifications being made and updated in the actual code. So this is kind of like a constant process of testing these various parts of the code um, in Jenkins and then also making the changes necessary for them. So that's currently what I'm doing. I started doing this a couple months ago, I think in May. Yeah, when I ended my master's degree, I ended it May 2020. And of course, with the whole COVID thing, um, I didn't go to the ceremony, but it was very interesting because I did get hired on, but I got hired on remotely because of the COVID. Couldn't really go into work. Um, and luckily the work that I do doesn't require me to actually work with the actual hardware. So that's actually a plus for me. I don't like working with hardware. Um, it's all on the computer, it's all programming. So I can work remotely, so that's really good. I've only been at this for what, almost two months, not quite about two months and it's been pretty interesting i like it a lot and yeah the next question that i usually get is well what company are you working for and this i can't answer i just i can't say what i'm working for or who i'm working for so we're moving on this is my first uh, job as an engineer before that i was a intern for about three years and that helped a lot in the area that i work in and the, the people that i work for um, i believe that if i had not been an intern for those years that i may not have gotten this position as easily my title for the work that i do is a software engineer um, now, like I said, I have a computer engineering background, but I am a software engineer. So you can either become a software engineer or a hardware engineer. I did have the option of working and doing stuff with the hardware, but I didn't like that. So I wanted to, you know, do something with software. And that's, this is probably the most ideal job that I could find given the circumstances with the COVID. So yeah, that's my title. Um, and those are like questions that I wanted to answer and that I've been getting a lot of. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of just answer them real quick. And um, I would say that if you have that choice where you are about to get your bachelor's degree or you just receive your bachelor's degree, but you know you could probably go one or two more years to get your master's degree, I would go for it. And in the meantime, while you're getting your master's degree, I would probably work part-time or work as an intern just so you still have some income coming in because there are times where um, you may think, well, I'm losing out on two years. And that's probably why I would suggest getting a internship in the meantime while you get your master's degree or some other uh, part-time job as an engineer. You know, maybe not a full-time engineer, but maybe part-time or an intern um, engineer. And then that way you're at least getting some repercussion from that, you're getting some of that payment back. But you can always just go for a bachelor's degree and just start working immediately, it's up to you. Depends on your situation. But in my situation, I was fine with going for one more year, getting my master's, um, and it worked out. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of answer those questions. And uh, if you guys have any other questions or any comments or anything like that, then please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, bye.